I've just pulled up in a car park and uh, my words were, if you point the camera that way, was, oh my God, that is some view. We've got a castle, we've got a harbour, and we've got the most spectacular backdrop we've seen in the series so far. Treacherous car park I've been in my life. <laughs> Make sure your hand brakes working. That's what you call a cliff top golf course. It's a bit like the big hitters here can make the green, but yeah, a lot of them choose not to. Yeah. Because they can there's so they much trouble either up. side. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. fact, well the, the rough here has been cut down a bit. Yeah. Just recently the triangle in front of or behind Hitler, if you want. Yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of damage could be done to your score very early on. Yeah, but well, that's got to be the line, hasn't it? Hitler's bunker yeah. off the first. Yeah. 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 Going left, yeah. doesn't, won't, you won't be any real No, that's it, yeah. Safe shots yeah. left. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've been in everything right in the last few days, so we're going to do that off the first thing. <laughs> I can hold up the wind today, you're okay. Hold yeah. up. What I love about Scotland and every course that we go to is the polite welcome that you get, or friendly welcome, not polite welcome, friendly welcome. And again, same here. Uh, Everyone's doing all they can to make it uh, a pleasant visit for you when you arrive and uh, not a bad first tee position like I said on a, on a few occasions already. So when get one down the middle, don't leak anything right is the, uh, is the tip off the first I think. Right the first tee shot sets the tone for the day. I'm going to be going to what is Hitler's bunker and hopefully nothing out to the, the right. I think that's pretty much bang on. It's on Hitler's bunker with a bit of cut. I think that should be an half decent start. In fact, that's away down there. We're away, it's down even. I'll burn the opportunity on the first hole. Do you know what? It's not an easy chip. You think you've done the hard work and I wouldn't like to be playing too full of a club into this because there's not much left on the, on the back side. So it was nice to just have a little bit of a chip and run. But as you've seen, it's still carried on down the hill but birdie on the first or birdie put on the first nah uh, I didn't know what I did with that really it was a uh, pretty atrocious effort but we shall settle for a par my second hole is called Willie's fault so uh, we all know to blame if this goes wrong uh, oh, neck. 198 back into the breeze this is right over um, the cliff top and I think I've probably got the wrong club because I don't think I can get there with a three iron that's a rude awakening isn't it downhill on the first birdie put and then you've got that on the way back oh that's not bad hand get up get up get up it didn't get up. But a decent strike. Right, I referred to Hitler's bunker uh, when I was on the first tee, because that's really where it comes into play. doesn't affect on the second. Uh, and believe it or not, and I always say there's uh, lots of references to wartime stories on many golf courses. And there's another one here. This was a uh, 1940, a German bomber dropped a bomb in this exact spot, not too far from the clubhouse and uh, it's aptly named Hitler's Bunker.
away tech this will tell me a few other things that make this area special well you're in the home of the castle trail yeah we've got over uh, 263 castles right. in the area some that you can actually stay in overnight as a guest and some you can go and visit. Uh, Denotra Castle is one of the most famous ones. Yes, which we, we actually uh, seen that last night. That's you stunning. did? Yeah, yeah, yeah good. incredible. So that's uh, where the Scottish crown jewels were hid. Yeah. And oh, you secreted away and, yeah. and hid under the pulpit at the local church. That's an incredible story. Down by Stonehaven. We've also got the Queen's Summer Palace here, Andy. Yes. And if you've got time to visit that. Well, Moral Castle, Her Majesty's in residence there at the moment. Right. And from where we are in Bankery, it's, it's less than an hour away. It's about 45 minutes right. away. A uh, beautiful location, great visitor attraction, and yeah. you can actually play golf on the nine-hole course. There's a nine-hole course there, on there as well with two sets of tees. It's right. a great location. Yeah, yeah. Um, other famous castles. There's too numerous to mention. Um, Crathis Castle is in Bankery, yes. five minutes drive away. Yeah. We've got Drum Castle, Drum, yeah. fifty minutes as well. Right. Um, so there's lots of Once history. Once again, steeped in history. This the whole of Scotland, everywhere, every region we visit, it's just incredible. Just You've come to the right spot. We yeah. have, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we'll just see if we can get um, afternoon tea with the Queen later on this afternoon. That'd and be nice. Nine holes, yeah, be nice. Uh, to the day. To <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to say, I've not stood on a more spectacular tea position. Uh, incredible. One sixteen. It said it's playing. Obviously, all carry. Don't pull anything down the left. And uh, what a backdrop. Literally, I mean, just stay here. That's clear water right down there. Looks stunning. I'm not too sure about the golf shot. The wind is howling off that right hand side as well. I think I'd rather just stay and admire the views. Right. Can you pick that wind on my microphone? Because it's, uh, it's gusting a bit. I've got the line. It's not about the yardage. I've lost it in the sun. That back end, I think back end and just gone off the back. I think maybe just overdid it a little bit, making sure I wasn't sure that wind caught it and just took it, like I said, off that back side. But um, seriously, I say it quite often, and I know it's repetitive, but who really cares where that ball just went? That's amazing. Right the way down for miles. I couldn't have got a better day to be looking at this. It's stunning. Right, a word of advice when traveling to Scotland and playing golf is be prepared for all conditions. I was just stood on that tee box where we've just seen the, uh, the clear blue water, clear blue skies, could see miles down the coastline. And I was stood on the seventh tee, so that's just 100 yards further on, and 10 minutes later, and it started to rain, temperatures dropped, and it'd be time for waterproof, so I'm not careful. So pack wisely. Now the existing clubhouse uh, has got a great location from where we started from you see it off on the first but this was the original clubhouse 1988 to 1897 and that's the remnants of what i assume is a chimney breast and uh, they had a fair old uh, vantage point as well to be fair another amazing tee position on 12 green is literally on the horizon it feels like you can uh, reach from here but uh, at 344 meters does that say you you clearly can't That's a fair old bash. I'm just interested to know where that lands. I can't quite see it land, so I'm not too sure where it is, but it was solid and flew off into the sea. It's fair to say a feature of the golf course in general is uh, A, its views, that's stating the obvious, and B, is the par threes, which all seem to take on these uh, fantastic views, but also create some incredible backdrops, but in incredibly tough as well. This is playing uh, 165, 168, wind is right off that left hand side, um, and what you don't want is a, a cliff falling off to the right, so we're going to be, um, yeah, we're going to be playing left onto that sort of bunker line. And the last excuse I've got is I haven't got my club in the bag that I would normally choose. But I've absolutely played a shot there. If that works right, go ball. Go a bit more 
Oh, do you know what? I was so pleased. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was a three iron that I played. Not quite half a shot, but kept the ball flight low. I'd done everything that I would have loved to have done. And uh, it wasn't enough. I think it was probably a full blown three to get there. Still can't hold a putt. Summary is, no words needed. Just take a look behind me, I think that's it. Let the visuals do the talking. <laughs> 